Welcome back to the adventures of Mr. Sneaky Duck and Edgar Allan Crow. That's him right there. That's him. They travel around the world, and we're going to learn lessons. But before that, we got to learn skills. So they haven't even started traveling yet. Today, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about how to exit the full screen in Chrome browser. And then review the last lesson, which are these bullet points here. So first, how do we get out of Chrome full screen? This is full screen, but if you read up here when I hit the full screen or click it, you'll see what it says. Oh, press F11 to exit full screen. See what I mean, Jelly Bean? So F11 is up at the top. And if you don't know how to do that, I will show you. There's a picture of a tablet screen keyboard. <laughs> so you would press the FN because it's blue. And this F11 is blue. Because if you just press this key, it's probably going to get less bright or more. No, that's less bright. This is more bright. So you have to keep this pressed and press F11 at the same time. And then let go. And your full screen will go away. So FN. F11, goodbye. You might have a different key. You got to look at the color. The color needs to match. All right, now, how to find my ebook? That's very easy. First, you go to Google. That's that. Then you go type Mr. Rains. I typed it wrong. But it's probably still going to come up. Oh, says, did you mean Mr. Rains? It did. It even knows what I mean. So then I click that. This comes up, my English class. And it's the one, two, third thing down right here. New ebook, The Travel Adventures. So I click on that. Start the Travel Adventures of Mr. Sneaky Duck and Edgar Allan Crow. Clickety. And it comes up. Now, we are not on page one, so we have to scroll all the way down, all the way down to the very bottom. And on the bottom right, you'll have something in yellow here. You just click that. It'll go to the next page. And we're on page three. So do it again. Go all the way down, and you're now you're on page three. Very good. You can tell this is the video I'm making now because this is a video of my high school playing football and other things touchdown but you hear that kind of music that kind of music has to be on there because it's called open source it doesn't belong to anybody or they don't want money for it but it's not very good either so if you have to find music and you want to play it on YouTube it can't be any famous music or they will shut you off Anyway, just letting you know, go back to the agenda. So how do you navigate my ebook and what's the order of things? Well, first you will read yourself and use your right click. Like I told you, right click, hold and drag or touch, hold and let go. And when you let go, this box will come up or maybe just a copy with a couple of dots. You click on the dots and you'll get this too. Search Google for teacher. <laughs> and that will come up. But what I'm saying is if you don't understand some of these words, you can search it. Remember I told you one other thing you could do? If you don't speak perfect English, you can translate and put it in here. And there we go. So you could do a lot of things. You could look up a video about teachers. You could do, if there's something you don't understand, I want you to do everything you can to try to understand that word through Google. You can watch a video. You can look at a picture. Okay. After you read this, then I want you to click on the video. This will be me here, not football. And when you click on it, just like on the last page, when you click on it, 
you'll get a video and then at the end of this video you'll get a link in you'll get a link that to go to the next page so if I go forward you can see the link there click on that and you'll go to the next page so this should be page three it is see the football let's go back to the agenda so after you read that and listen to that then there will always be a quiz or something here that I haven't put in this page yet but you can see that there are plenty of oh that's the same page if I went back one page you could see it there will always be a little quiz or something and that will be about the video and the reading so it'll be, it could be about the skills I teach you, the reading, or the video. You have to listen and pay attention. And take notes. If you take notes, I'd like you to take Cornell notes. And what that is, I'm sure you know, but the cues and keywords and questions and some main ideas go on this side. And then your thoughts and ideas and important dates and repeated or emphasized information, like right-clicking, that would go here and some of today's notes because we're gonna go over a lot of different little things okay and so after that you go to the next page after you take the quiz you go on to the next page either through the bottom through here or you can go watch the video again and I also want you to remember that if you think you know something you can fast forward through a part of the video nothing stopping you and if you want to watch it again, you didn't understand, rewind it and watch it again. You can also make this full screen. Don't forget that. If you want to make it full screen, you can open it up and watch the whole thing. And then shrink it again. Okay? Okay, some other criticism I've been getting is that my videos are boring. And <laughs> that makes me cry a little bit, you know. But, you know, if it's the truth, it's the truth. Here's the deal. <clears throat> During the first few videos, you got to learn all these little skills and stuff. After that, we're going to be figuring out whether these guys are telling the truth or telling a lie. I don't want to say a lie. But sometimes they, you know, exaggerate a little bit, you know. So we are going to be figuring those things out together. But with all these shortcuts and all the things that I'm teaching you that's taking all this time, it will help save you some time later on. So bear with me. I'll try to change my voice. I'll try to speak up. All right. Um, we already talked about how to take notes and today we're going to talk about shortcuts for MS Word and Google Docs but we have to read first read aloud think aloud so I have the ebook here I'm going to make it bigger so Edgar Allan never had his wings clipped and enjoys conversations with Sneaky so they usually travel together in my suitcase. I'm Keith Rains. I am a teacher that has traveled the world. The reason Mr. Duck got his name Sneaky is because he constantly sneaks into my luggage when I travel. Then, when I get there and I'm sleeping, he magically comes to life with Edgar and they have their photos taken all around the world. You know, I'm going to stop and talk to you. I have nothing to do with that. They they sneak around. And it's not so bad, but it's just strange that sometimes when they don't want me to see them coming to life, they just show up at places like this temple. They I guess they talk people into having pictures taken or something. But then all of a sudden I get my phone back or my camera and it has all these pictures on there. Anyway. So no, I promise that none of these photos are photoshopped or altered. See, if you wanted to find out what altered meant, you could look that up. I right-click, highlight it, look up altered. It says, 
the past participle of alter. But then if I go down, it says to change or to cause to change. So I said I didn't alter the photos. That means I didn't change them. They were actually where they said they were. Anyway, let's go back to the story. I know it took a long time. Uh, my two friends, Edgar and Sneaky, have found their way into my suitcase on every trip I've taken for the last 14 years. Now, like I said, this is yellow now, so you know it's something you can click on to find out information. And it's about every trip I've been on in the last 14 years. You can click on that, and it opens... It's proof that I do have it. It's my Instagram in all the places I've been around the world. And I'm not going to show you that because it's a distraction. So now we're going to get into the shortcuts. Okay, next I got a bunch of comments about how boring the video is. So part of the reason is because it was so long. We have a lot of shortcuts that I want to show you, but I will split it in half and show you this half on the next video. Today we're going to go over Control F, Control Z, Control Y, Control A, Control X, Control C, and Control V. I would write those down in my notes if I were you. Also, I'm going to link to this in the video comment section. In other words, if you go to a video and you open it on YouTube, it will have these comments here. And right in here will be a link to these notes. So you can see them if you want to. But let me tell you, the benefit of writing it down is that when you write it down, your hand writes it down, you read it, your mind remembers it because you're writing it and you're more likely to remember it so yes you can copy this and you can find it you can print it out it's really easy but does it really help your memory and if you want to remember these to save time you can write them down and then that will help your mind your brain to remember them easy peasy lemon squeezy so control F what in the world does that do? It makes me laugh is what it does because I see you guys on your tests and stuff. Let's say, for instance, you are on an ebook or something. So if I went into like a, <clears throat> a regular ebook for a springboard, I, hope, I think it's going to make me sign in again. It logged me out. Oh, there we go. So I'll go into a springboard book for sixth grade. And what we're learning about basically is in unit three anyway. So you could look at unit three if you wanted to. Here it is. But there's some activities where you have to read things, right? Right, Mr. Rains. And so here's one of those. And then they give you questions. And someone says, uh, what context clues help you determine the meanings of critics in paragraph 3 and proponents in paragraph 5? Well, kids start reading the whole thing over and over and over again. And that's not going to do you any good. But if I copy that word, I right-click again, the famous right-click, and copy the word. And then I told you about Control F. So I hit Control F, watch in the top right hand corner. Boom. This pops up. And it already got what I what I copied, but I can paste it again if I want to. It says critics. And so what this does is it finds everywhere on this page that the word critics is. It will help you to answer the question. And you don't have to read through all of this again and again and again. So it will help you scan faster than you can, and I can scan. So now let's do it again. Let's click, 
That's the next time is in the question. So I go up again. The first time is here. So I might want to read this to answer the question. You see what I mean? They even have this on your computer tests. You could still do control F. Now if you don't want to understand if you don't understand what control F is, let's go back on the keyboard again. So you would hit control, that button, and keep a hold of it while you hit the F button. So you keep a hold of this button and hit the F button. Boom. Well, it doesn't open up on a picture, so it made a funny noise. So that's control F. And it means find. You can remember control F by remembering the word find. You can find a word or many words. Like you could see uh, <clears throat> if it says both sides right there. That's two words. If it's anywhere else, control F. I can paste in there. Boom, there it is again. It appears seven times in this page. And over here on the side, you could scroll to where it is. It even tells you. You can scroll there. So I know it's beneficial to read, and I teach reading. But if you're in a hurry and you need to find key words on a page, why should you waste your time? Use Control F. Okay? Okay, Mr. Reigns. All right, Control Z. Well, let's say, for instance, I had a, um, a document. And the next one, like I said, is Control Z. But you need to have a document open. So what do you do? You go to your Gmail or Google if you're signed in. And you look for this little nine squares or this little tic-tac-toe looking thing. Squares. You click on that. And you go to where it says Drive. So you click on Drive. Then you go to New, New, New. <laughs> and soon it will open. And go to Doc, Google Doc new Google Doc. Click on that and you get your word processing program. Okay, let's review. Control Z has to go back one move. Oops. Control Y is to go forward if you went back too much. Control A is one of the last ones I did. That's to select everything, select all of a, a screen. Control A. Control F was the first one we did. That's to find on page a word or a couple of phrases. Then we had Control X, and that's to cut something out of a document. Cut. Control C is to copy it, copy some text or even a picture. Control V is to paste it. That's it. Sorry for the big pause but I was looking to see if we had any more. Control Z, go back. Control, Control Z, go back. Control Y, go forward. Control A, select all. Control F, find on the page. You can see that there. 
Control X, cut. Oops. Control X, cut it off. Control V, paste it. Control C, copy it. Control V, paste it again. Those are your ones for today. Have a good day. All right, now that we're in Google Docs, this is where you can type papers and everything else and even share with your friends and do it as a group, whatever you want, if you hit the share button. Anyway, in this document, you can title it, but I want to know, let's say, the words to a song. It's called Lyrics. I want the lyrics to a Bob Dylan song. Whoops. Let's just put Bob. <laughs> Bob D. And the song I want is Times They Are a Changing. But I don't know the words to the song. I'm going to have to use Google. So I go up to Google and I look it up. Times They Are Changing. Hit enter. Here they are. But now I want the lyrics. That means the words to the song. And here we have it all. And so I want to copy this whole thing. So we can select it all. That's easy, right? But then here's another shortcut. Control C. Control C means to copy. So I hit control C, then I go back to my document. And how do I paste it with a shortcut? I hit control V as in Victor, and bam, it might think a little bit, but after that it goes down. And now I have the Bob Dylan lyrics. And what's so important about the Bob Dylan lyrics? Well, that's why you're learning this kind of thing is because times are changing and you're going to need these computer skills in order to succeed in the world first dates also, we hope for the best you always got to watch a commercial first Skip. Skip. this song is called times are changing anyway the first thing was control C is to copy. Control C. And if you want to paste it, is control V is in Victor. Control C is to copy. Control V is to paste. So we've done control F, control C, and control V. Now we're going to do control Z. Control Z. So what is it? Well, try it. If you hit control Z, it just backs things up, backs it up, backs up every move you make for like 20 moves or so. Wait, I deleted my whole Bob Dylan song. What am I going to do? Well, there's another control button. Control Y goes forward. Control Y. Oh, there we go. It's back again. Thank goodness. So far, we've learned. Control C. Control V, Control Z, Control Y. So if I do Control Z, I just deleted everything, everything should come back. But it's hard sometimes to select everything and drag it all, and it's kind of a pain sometimes to do that. So Control A selects everything, Control A. Boom. It's selected. 
But how do I cut it out of there if I want to put it somewhere else? Well, that's control X. It's gone, but I can paste it back. Okay, let's review. Control Z. That's to go back. One move. Oops. Control Y is to go forward if you went back too much. Control A is one of the last ones I did. That's to select everything, select all of a, a screen. Control A. Control F was the first one we did. That's to find on page a word or a couple of phrases. Then we had Control X, and that's to cut something out of a document. Cut. Control C is to copy it, copy some text or even a picture. Control V is to paste it. That's it. Sorry for the big pause but I was looking to see if we had any more. Control Z, go back. Control, Control Z, go back. Control Y, go forward. Control A, select all. Control F, find on the page. You can see that there. Control X, cut. Oops. Control X, cut it off. Control V, paste it control C copy it control V paste it again those are your ones for today have a good day